Welcome to my channel, Autumn and the Mage. This is going to be a general love, it's going to be a general reading for Capricorn in regards to love. So it is general and it might not resonate with you and I ask you please to not try to make the story fit if it's not yours. Um, if the if you're drawn to the reading then there might be a message here for you so I appreciate you sticking around uh, and seeing if that's there for you but if the story isn't yours please do not try to make it fit. I'm sorry, I was very slightly distracted because I wanted to burn some Palo Santos, I think is what these sticks are called. It's for protection, but honestly, I just really enjoy the smell. So I was lighting it when I started the video, maybe slightly not ready. So I apologize. Anyway, this is a general reading, like I said. Thank you so much, though, for stopping here to watch it and checking if I have a message for you. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to start first by drawing a card from the Moonology Oracle deck, just to get a general feeling of the situation. Then we will pull out tarot cards to see how you feel about the person you're connecting with, how they feel about you. We'll clarify those cards and then get advice from Notes from the Universe Oracle deck. All right, look at that. We get nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. I'm going to read you the message from the book. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable is all about change, shape shifting, even, that something is still developing. This card indicates that something is indeed changing and there's room for maneuvering. So take it as a sign that the situation you're asking about is far from finalized. If you're not happy with the current state of play, that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course of the outcome. However, there's also a sense that the situation could perhaps be a little unstable. For some, this is great news because you can still influence. Others will struggle with the uncertainty, but should stay with it a little longer. Either way, nothing is set in stone yet. All right, let's take a look at the tarot. Can we please get, can we please get three cards for how Capricorn feels about the person they are connecting with? Three cards, please. For how Capricorn feels about the person they are connecting with. The Two of Swords, that's a choice. Uh, it's a card about decision and needing to make a choice. All right. Can I get two more cards? Oh, okay. The Ace of Cups. That's a new beginning in love. This is really wanting to approach a situation with an open heart and um, sometimes it's a new connection or sometimes it's a new idea in an existing connection and wanting to really be open and loving, okay, in that approach. But the Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love, all right? Can I get one more card for how Capricorn feels about the person they're connecting with? Interesting, we get the Death card, which is Scorpio energy. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. But this is something that needs to end. Uh, so something else can begin. This is really, I say this all the time, interesting, okay? Because there's a choice here, and it almost looks like the choice could be either or. But actually, it could, the choice could, the, these could both be the same decision. Because ending something doesn't necessarily mean ending everything, first of all. It doesn't necessarily mean that you want to walk away from the connection. Um, just that some aspect of it needs to be put to death so that something else can rise from that, all right? And wanting this new beginning. Well, let's take a look at how they feel, and then we will clarify these cards so we will understand them better. Can we please get three cards for how the person Capricorn is connecting with feels about them? Three cards, please. How does this person feel about, okay. Okay, 
right off the bat we get the lover's card which is Gemini energy you might be dealing with Gemini but this is a soulmate card this is somebody who feels like you are their soulmate they feel uh, a bond with you a connection with you beyond the physical world beyond the emotional world like a spiritual connection they feel very connected to you and um, it's a connection that we can't always understand it's very powerful very strong and then we get the strength card which is Leo energy you might be dealing with the Leo but the strength is the strength card talks about courage and sometimes it's about taming our own demons but it can just be about having the courage to move forward or seeking the courage to move forward in something but this person definitely feels like you are their their one you know with this with the lover's card here that's really as far as a love connection goes, really the strongest card you could get, you know what I'm saying? So they definitely feel very strongly towards you and they are confident or looking for confidence uh, in this situation. One more card, please, for how this person feels about Capricorn. Can we get one more card? How does the person connecting with Capricorn feel about them? Okay, we get the Temperance card which is a card of timing and patience, okay? Uh, in Temperance, she's mixing the elements here. She's mixing the energies and trying to perfect them. And this is about somebody being willing, first off, to take that time, the time necessary to make it perfect, to make it balanced. And it can also be about healing, so like needing the time to do that and um, possibly needing patience in order uh my words <laughs> just 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 fell out of my head but they need they're willing they need the time and are willing to take time to like balance everything out so that that is interesting that there is three major arcana here which means one that this is supposed to be kind of okay the way that they feel about you is very um When you get a lot of major arcana, okay, in a reading, that means that what is happening in the connection is, um, like, the words that come to mind is, like, divinely guided. Like, it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to be this way. So, that's very, very strongly showing up on their side. Like, whatever you're experiencing together, this is an important part of their journey and your journey together. Let's take a look at clarification of these cards. Two of Swords, please, for Capricorn. Can we please clarify? Can you please clarify the Two of Swords for me? Oh, we get the Fool. Oh, we get two cards. The Fool and the Queen of Wands. Interesting. The Fool is um, Aries energy, so you might be dealing with Aries. The Queen of Wands is fire energy, so that could be Leo. Aries or Sagittarius, which temperance is Sagittarius, strength is Leo, and Air, uh, fool is Aries. So you have like all of the fire signs here <laughs> in more than one way. Okay, and then Queen of Wands is someone who the fool is wanting a new beginning, okay, wanting to start fresh in some aspect of this connection. You want to start over. You want you want to leap off that ledge with them. And it's not just that desire for a new be new beginning, but it's excitement. The fool is young and excited and um, not necessarily courageous <laughs> because it's more like foolish energy. They want to blindly dive into something, okay? And the Queen of Wands, I think, represents this person who uh, it, it can also represent attraction, okay? The Queen of Wands is somebody who's very attractive, very magnetic, and... Um, charismatic. There's someone who's ju who just draws you in, okay? And I, but I really feel like this is you wanting this new beginning with this, with this person that you consider the Queen of Wands, okay? 
but there's some decision you need to make. Let's take a look at the Ace of Cups. Please clarify the Ace of Cups, which is another card of a new beginning. That's interesting because we get the King of Wands. And the King and Queen, that's a power couple there, uh, which speaks again to this connection and the strength of the connection. And when you have both sides of the same suit like this, um, it kind of is like coming in on equal energy. If you see, <laughs> if you, this is also fire energy again, so that's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're dealing with those zodiac signs. This could just be about the energy, okay? And fire energy is very passionate. It's very confident and driven energy, okay? And this is wanting a new beginning and if you if you see yourself as the king of wands or the queen of, i mean gender isn't really important but they both sides of this coin are here and i feel like this is definitely you wanting a new beginning in this um in this energy at least where you're both coming in equally uh on the same level i'm sorry i keep saying uh today <laughs> it's driving me crazy Let's take a look at the death card. Okay. Okay. In, in, with the death card here, we get the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is somebody who has it all in the material world, in the tangible world. She has it all. Okay. And... This could mean that you there's some kind of ending happening in in regards to this connection that has to do with material stability, okay? Because this is somebody who's on their own. This is a single person, um, the Nine of Pentacles, but it's it's somebody who just has everything they need in the material, in the tangible world. They have everything, okay? And it's almost like some aspect of that is ending or needs to end um, with it tied to that death card. But then we also get the, we get the six of cups, okay, which is a card of past. This is also a soulmate card. So it can be in regards to like a soulmate connection. But in the six of cups, we're thinking back on positive memories, okay? And Sorry, an idea just came to mind. A thought just came to mind. They didn't come out at the same time, but they are in in regards to, in clarification of this death card. And this could be thinking back to a time when you had this stability, okay? And all of this material and tangible stability, okay? and thinking positively about it and kind of missing it is sort of a way to look at this. In this card, we're thinking back on things that made us happy and definitely fondly missing, I mean, fond, fondly thinking of them and wanting uh, to remember them in a positive way. But then we get the five of pentacles here, which is casting something out, okay? It's holding ourselves back from something. Because inside this building here is light and sun and stability, okay? And we're, we're holding ourselves out here in the cold. But this is a card of walking away sometimes or of feeling cast out. And it's... So, it may be, like I said here, that there's some aspect of stability that need, that is dying or needs to die or you feel is dying with this death card. You feel like it's coming to an end, the stability, all right? And uh, you're thinking back on when you had it, okay? Or or uh, how happy and comfortable you were in that situation and now feeling like you are cast out, okay? So you really... It's like my brain just had a reset. And I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> okay, 
So I'm going to repeat myself. I'm sorry, just so I can put myself back on track. But so feeling like some aspect of your material world, tangible world, needs to or has come to an end and thinking back positively on it. Uh, and maybe this could be realizing that you're, that you've cast it out or that you need to walk away from it. This definitely doesn't have to do with feelings. Okay. This isn't about feelings. This is definitely something tangible. This is definitely something, um, in the physical world, material world that has come to an end or needs to come to an end. And with these two cards tied to it, you, you're sad about it. Okay. Um, and possibly can find a way to bring it back in to your life. That stability that, but, um, but yeah, definitely it's not here currently, or it, it needs to go away. You know better than I do what this is in reference to. Okay. Really, the reason why we take a look at you, the reason why I take a look at you in this reading is so that you can better clarify who this person is. You know, if this is really you over here, then this will all make sense to you. And then you'll know that this is them. Does that make sense? So that's really why I take a look at you. So if I'm not getting, if I'm not seeing this exactly, um, like word for word, how it really is, if you, if it's making sense to you, then that's really... That's really what we're looking for. If it resonates with you, then you know what this is, okay? I can just, I, all I can do is tell you what I see, which isn't always 100% clear. <laughs> Let's take a look, though, at them, okay? Let's take a look at the lovers for how they feel about you. How do you clarify the lovers, right? In the last reading, I got the sun, and it's like, how do you clarify the sun? It's the sun. It's the happiest feeling in the deck. The lovers is like the most loving feeling, the most connected feeling that you can have with someone. How do you clarify that? I don't know, but let's try. <laughs> can you please clarify the lovers for how this person feels about Capricorn? We get the two of pentacles. And this is a card of balancing and managing um, things in the material and tangible world. So uh, it might be slightly connected to that. But this is really about trying to make all of the things happen in the day that you need to have happen in the day. Okay. And trying to balance it out. It can on occasion. I'm not saying that in this situation because I 100% don't see it, but it did enter my mind Two pentacles can be two people, so it could be balancing two people. The lover's card could represent a choice in love, okay, and wanting to make a choice, like trying to decide between two people, all right, and which one, which one um, pulls at your heart, like which one aligns with your heart more, okay? That can be what the lover's card is about, and like I said, this could be about making a choice between two people, but that's not how I'm reading this. I feel like this is just them trying to balance, okay, feeling this way about you, feeling this connection with you, and maybe there's, especially with this showing up here, there's some aspect of your material and tangible world that is requiring a lot of, um, like, manipulating and balancing and managing, okay? Let's take a look at the strength card for them. I split the deck, and it's the strength card. <laughs> which again is Leo energy. But let's take a look. Can you please clarify strength for how this person feels about Capricorn? Okay, we get the five of swords. I'm trying to see. I think I, I saw another card flip, so I'm just checking the deck real quick, but I don't see anything, so... Uh, we get the Five of Swords, and with the Five of Swords, this is kind of a conflict within our head. This is a conflict within our mind, okay? Um, the card down here says defeat. But this is a situation where we got what we wanted, but in, in such a way that it's it's fouled it, okay? So it's like, ew, 
it's we got what we wanted but mm, it's not it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to the process of getting there didn't go the way that we have would have wanted it to and um really trying to work that out in our in our mind and come to terms to it and come to terms with it this is uh um conflict within ourselves okay which with the strength card this can be about having the strength to tame our own demons okay and there's some aspect there's something here that they they won okay they got their way but they don't really feel like they won maybe they hurt you in the process or maybe in the process of getting where they wanted they broke some of their own personal uh, beliefs or their own personal what's the word morals or just whatever guides them they had they were dishonest to themselves in some way okay and so it doesn't end up feeling like they did a very good job at winning okay and with the strength it could be like taming that they could be trying to tame that okay or they could be building up the strength to face this conflict within themselves and move forward let's take a look at the temperance card not a lot is coming out as, as in clarification today. I'm not really sure why, but the last reading I did was the same. There weren't a lot of like clarifying cards coming out, but let's take a look at the Temperance card. Okay. We get the Nine of Cups, which is a wish, wish fulfillment. Okay. The world, uh, which is starting new, starting something fresh, ending a cycle so a new cycle can can begin. So I really feel like this is them wanting to put something to death, like what uh, the death card here represents. It's like ending something so something else can begin. Uh, and then the three of wands, which is sort of a waiting card, like temperance here is a waiting card. It's knowing what you want, okay, and feeling like you've taken some of the steps to get there and waiting for the energy to match you, kind of, okay? Like, I've made I've made some steps, and now I need for steps to, to come towards me, because he's standing here on this cliff, and he's called for these ships, okay, and he needs a ship to come in in order for them to move forward. So, it's kind of like I've I've taken actions and now I need you to take actions and sort of awaiting, okay? So they definitely want their wish, their hope here is for something to end so that you can start new. And they feel like they've taken steps towards that and maybe that it needs time for it to complete, which they're willing to put in that time. They're definitely willing to do that. Um so yeah, that's what I have so far. Let's go ahead and draw an oracle message for advice from Notes from the Universe. Nothing is yet set in stone. Well, you both definitely want to put something to bed. Like you want to put something, you want to end. There's some aspect here that you both need to change. Um, so... It's definitely good here that it's not, you're not stuck, you know? You definitely have the ability in this situation to change the outcome on both your sides if you're the, if you're the other person here watching this, if you're cross-watching, then it's not set in stone, you know? So you can adjust it, make it work. Can I please get a message for Capricorn in regards to this connection? A card flipped out already, but I wanted to see if another one, so let's take a look. We got, you know what to do. You know what to do. In all battles of heart over mind, go with your heart, because truly it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than for your heart to catch up with your mind a whole lot. Not that I don't love your mind. Didn't you get this last week? I can't remember. But I feel like maybe you got this last week. You know what to do. Go with your heart. Anyway, 
that's a good message. Um, and that's what I have for you here, Capricorn. I hope this brought you some kind of clarity. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, please hit the like button for me, or you could put in the comments if you let me know in comments. I would, I would love to hear about it if you want to tell me more. And uh, you could send me an email if you prefer a private conversation. My email address is listed in the description box. And I want to thank you again so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I love reading tarot. And um, everybody who watches me encourages me to do it more. So thank you so much for being here and for viewing this. I really appreciate it. And remember to move forward in positivity and hope because we get what we think. We get what we say. So have hope and think positively so that you can draw that energy into your life. And thank you again for watching. I hope that I see you again in the future.